Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create your update statement within SQL, right? In the last video I've shown you guys create, insert, delete, truncate, alter, but uh, you know I couldn't. I, I basically forgot to mention update, so I'm making another video, a simplified version of uh, the statement. It's super straightforward. Uh, you can understand this in a matter of few minutes. So um, I'm going to use the same table that we used in the last um, class as well. Uh, so what we what we have in this table is my course. This table has four columns: course name, teacher name, my location, and ID. So course name I have data analytics uh, taught by Senthil. The location is Toronto, and then uh, uh, data science is taught by somebody I didn't find. Let's say I didn't find the teacher, uh, but the teacher should be in Chennai. Right uh, for the programming, uh, I again didn't find any teacher, uh, but the teacher should be in Malaysia. Right, if I have to find someone, I have to find someone from Malaysia. Right, again for PMP, I didn't find the teacher, but uh, if I have to find someone, he has to be he or she has to be in USA. Right, so this is the table that we have. If I have to, you know, let's say if I'm uh, you know I'm interviewing different teachers and I'm finding teachers uh, from these different locations. Uh, I need to keep on adding these teacher name for that specific rows, right? So that is exactly where update statement is helpful. Let's take a look to see how you can do that. New query, right? Again, you know the basic uh, thing, the use uh, use database name. That's very important. Just a, it's just a practice. You need to do it. It's not very functional statement. But it's a very practical. And um, you know, error proof error proof statement, right? Uh, just to make sure you don't uh, touch any other databases, uh, you know, while you run your uh, queries. If that's, that database also has the same table name, then you're hitting the wrong table and um, making some changes in there. That's the primary reason. All right. So for update statement, syntax is basically update, straightforward, right? And then the table name. What is the table name? DBO dot my course. Since I already have my uh, data warehouse data or database name, I don't have to put it again. But uh, it's not does it's not gonna cause any problem. But anyways, so update table set. I would say set teacher name right. That column is called teacher name. Teacher name. Let's say I found a new teacher for data science in Chennai. Uh, his name is Mr. A. Right, let's just say Mr. A. So teacher teacher name is equal to Mr. A. Right. Remember again, um, you know, I'm just gonna quickly pause here. I'm gonna show you guys the structure of this table. Uh, it, we already discussed that in the last video, but still quickly I'll just show you the structure. Uh, right click design in the table and you see the course name is varchar 100 teacher name is again varchar 100 location is again varchar 50 id is in teacher right so just make sure all the teacher name is a varchar so you always have to put it inside the quotes that's why i'm putting it inside the quotes so uh, all right so the teacher name is here and then uh, now if i just leave it like this the engine doesn't know which one to update there is four different rows you have so it doesn't know which uh, which one of these four rows should be replaced with Mr. A, right? So you need to really zero it down or narrow it down to that specific row where you need to make the change, right? So in this one, I have the primary key column, which is the ID, right? So it's only unique uh, unique number of uh, values it has. So in this one, I'm simply I can just say hey, uh, where uh, wherever ID is equal to two, it means that uh, the course name is data science. And the location is in Chennai, right? So in those, in that row, just make sure the teacher name should be updated as Mr. A. This is an easy scenario, right? Let's say if I don't have the ID or for some other automation purposes, you have to use course name and uh, my location. How do you do that? Let's say um, where where your course name course name. I guess it's course name is right. Yeah, where your course name is equal to uh, data science, 
right and just use and keyword and your location is Chennai right and uh, location is it location or my location yeah my underscore location so my underscore location is equal to Chennai right so that's it that's good enough so it knows um, so set the teacher name is equal to a but wait make sure the course name is equal to data science and my location is equal to Chennai right so that will narrow it down to that specific row number two right and then it will just go set the teacher name is equal to mr. a right let's go ahead and run this now right so one row is affected let's refresh or let's rerun this you see so data science now has a new teacher mr. a and again the location is Chennai like that right so let's say programming let's um, change this um, let's let's say we hired a new pro a new programming teacher in Malaysia um, let's say her name is mr. mrs. or miss B miss B I guess so teacher name is miss B and then it's programming I know the names are a little bit boring but you know um, it's okay uh, my bad course name is equal to programming right <laughs> and then the location is Malaysia I'll just copy this and then just paste it over here all right so now I have the course name is equal to programming my location is equal to Malaysia right course name programming my location Malaysia and then now I will say teacher name is keep the teacher name or set the teacher name is equal to miss B right so let's yeah you know let's just run everything again one row is affected if I go ahead and uh, you know, run the same command select select everything command you see the programming as uh, the teacher name for programming has been updated right so this is an example of uh, doing update guys so it's pretty simple straightforward um, so let me know if you have any questions or if you want to do anything advanced I'll uh, create a new video for that um, or if you have any use cases from your work or at your school put it in the comments and we'll go through that detail in a, in a separate video for that right so thank you very much for watching I'll see you guys in a different video cheers